Welcome to the e-learning platform by ScienceSpark. Today we are going to cover the topic force and pressure. This covers the following chapters from SSC and CBSC board. We are going to cover the following subtopics. The definition of force. The effects of force. What happens when we apply force? The different types of forces. The meaning of balanced and unbalanced forces and why are they important? And finally, the concept of inertia. So let's begin. So what do you understand by force? What comes in your mind when you hear the word force? Hmm. Let's see that. So force is nothing but a push or a pull. Yes, you got it right. Force is nothing but a push or a pull. Yes. Now let's see what happens when we apply force. That is the effects of force. The first effect is that we can move an object. Yes. The next effect is we can stop an moving object. We can change the direction of an object. Oh, interesting. By applying the force, we can also change the shape of an object and also the size of an object. Right. So these are the effects of force. Now we will see the different types of forces. Now, forces are basically classified into two types. The first is contact forces in which two things are in contact with each other. And second, non-contact forces. The forces which can be applied or which are applied even when they are not in contact with each other. So let's see this, the types of contact and non-contact forces one by one. So we'll start with types of contact force. Oh, do you see a man? He is lifting some weights. So which kind of force he must be applying? Hmm, he is applying muscular force. Oh, this is a big huge machine used to lift lot of heavy weights which definitely can't be done by us yes so this machine applies a force called as mechanical force yes forces applied by machines are always called as mechanical force do you see a man in this picture well this is one of my favorite sports I wish to do. Yes, he is skiing. But why is he holding these two sticks in his hand? Well, he can just slide away. But there is some force which is stopping him. And to overcome that force, he is using these two sticks to push himself. Right? So that force which is overcoming his action is called as frictional force hmm. and by the way this force is the reason that we can walk run yeah now we will start with the types of non-contact forces and when you see the picture it becomes very clear that the force i am talking is nothing but magnetic force 
Yes. Oh, this is very interesting experiment which everyone can try. Yes. You can see a girl holding a balloon near her hair and her hair is getting attracted towards it. Why is it so? She must have rubbed the balloon to some material. Yes, and due to that rubbing, it has got electric charge on it, due to which the hair is getting attracted towards the balloon. Now, which force is responsible for this? Hmm. The force which is responsible for this is electrostatic force. Hmm. Many of us, you must be aware of this picture. A man sitting under an apple tree, an apple falls on his head and guess what? Yes, this man is nothing but Sir Isaac Newton. Yes, he is the one who discovered the force of gravitation, that is gravitational force due to which we all are attracted to earth. Yes. Now we will see the meaning of balanced and unbalanced forces. Oh, do you see some students playing a game? Yes, this is a very interesting game called as tug of war. Yes, in, in this game, students are divided in group of two and they are given a rope which they are supposed to pull. Now there are two groups, one to my right and one to my left. Both groups are having four students and they are applying equal and opposite force. Yes, the students on right are pulling that rope. Similarly, the students on left are also pulling the same rope. Yes, and that is the reason no one is able to pull the opposite group yes because the forces are equal and opposite that is the forces are balanced yes so these are balanced forces whenever there is such a case the object which we are applying the force is not moving now in this case there are three students on my right and four students on my left. So naturally, the group on my left will be able to pull the group on my right. Yes. So these are unbalanced forces. The forces are applied in opposite direction, but they are not equal. The force applied by the group on left is more than the force applied by the group on right. That is why these are unbalanced forces. Hmm. Now we will have a look at a very interesting experiment. Hello. So in this experiment, we are going to see the demonstration for inertia. Yes. So what is inertia? Now anything which has mass has got inertia. Now let me show you a demonstration. For this demonstration, I have taken a glass full of water, a cardboard sheet and a 5 rupee coin. Now I will put this cardboard sheet on top of this glass and I will put a 5 rupee coin on the top of it. Now guess what will I do? Yes, I am going to remove this card sheet quickly. Okay, and we have to observe what happens to the 5 rupee coin. Will the 5 rupee coin come with the card sheet or something else will happen? Well, let's see. Yes. So where is the coin? Friends, it is in the glass.
Hmm. So do you like the experiment? Yes. Oh, do you see a small boy who is yawning? Yeah, we do this all day. Yes. So you can actually compare the concept of inertia with the yawning of this boy. Now what actually is inertia? Inertia is the tendency of an object to remain in its existing state. Yes, this boy is also trying to remain in his existing state. He is not ready to move. Yes, similarly, the coin which is shown in the experiment is trying to be in that position. When I move the card, the coin doesn't come with the card, but it tries to remain there. Oh, but it falls in the glass. Now, why is it so? It is because of the force of gravitation. Yes. Now, we will have a look at another experiment or another demonstration on inertia. So I will show you another demonstration for inertia. In this demonstration, I have taken two empty glasses and one cardboard. So what I am going to do is, I am going to put this card sheet over the glass and I will put another glass on the top of this. I will have to make sure that this glass is exactly about the glass at the bottom. Okay. Right. So now, like in the previous experiment, I'll again take out this cardboard sheet horizontal. So let's see what happens. Yes, the same thing happens. Hmm, very interesting experiment. Well, now let's see the summary of things what we have learned till now. So first we learned what is force. That is, force is push or pull. What happens when we apply force? The effects of force. We can move an object, we can stop an object, we can change the direction of a moving object, we can change the shape and size of an object. Then we saw the different types of forces. That is contact and non-contact forces. We saw muscular force, mechanical force, frictional force. And we also saw magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. Then by referring to a very interesting game that is tug of war, we saw the meaning of balanced and unbalanced forces. And finally, with the help of two interesting experiments, we understand the concept of inertia. Yes. So this is what we have learned in this video. Oh, and here are some questions to tease your brain. Mention all the forces in action when you are cycling because there are multiple forces in action when you are cycling. And the second one is which force always opposes the motion. You can answer these questions in the comment below or you can email us. Thank you.